World War II was an era where the echoes of battle reverberated across continents, where the very fabric of civilization seemed to come apart. Yet, amidst the thunderous clash of armies, there often existed a narrative of defiance, of courage, and of human spirit. Central to this narrative was the plight of the Jewish people, who were caught in this brutal grip of Holocaust, a dark chapter in humanity's memory. As the shadow of Nazi tyranny loomed ever larger, millions of Jews found themselves thrust into a nightmare of persecution, discrimination and unspeakable horror. But in the face of such unimaginable adversity, a glimmer of hope always persisted. Ordinary individuals became unsung heroes, risking their lives to shelter those who were being hunted, fighting an authoritarian regime with acts of quiet defiance. Their stories, though often shrouded in secrecy, bear witness to the extraordinary lengths to which humanity will go in the face of unspeakable evil. One such instance is about a group of Jews who survived the Holocaust by hiding themselves in the sewers of Poland for close to one and a half years. This is their story. Leopold Socha was working as a sewage inspector in the city of Lwów in Poland. The war was raging and life was difficult. He was also a burglar and thief and used to rob upscale Polish neighborhood in order to make his ends meet. One such night during his work, when he was in the sewers, he heard a faint human voice coming over from a distance. He was surprised and went to investigate. As he went closer, he heard multiple human voices coming through and thought for a moment whether to call in the authorities. But something within him told him to continue and Socha went towards the source of these human voices. And then he walked into a section of sewers and found a whole bunch of Jews hiding. He got to know that they were hiding in the sewers because the Luo Gatto was being liquidated and everyone there was being sent to concentration camps by the Nazis. Socha was in a dilemma. He was poor. And he knew that with the knowledge that he had, he can get a handsome reward from the Nazis if he informed them about these hidden Jews. But his inner conscience was stopping him. He was poor himself and hence took whatever he could from the Jews to help them in return with food and rations. He continued to do so for many months along with his wife and a friend. Surviving the sewers was very difficult for both Jews and Socha. There was constant darkness and stench. The filth and contamination often caused diseases. The Jews also had to change their locations to stay hidden throughout the war. During the rains, the sewers would often get flooded and some of the Jews didn't even survive. Socha then arranged for funeral for those who lost their lives. Soon after, the Nazis caught hold of his friend as well, but he did not give up on Socha. His friend was executed by the Nazis. In time, the Jews ran out of money and other gifts that they could give to Socha. But now, Socha decided to help them in whatever way he could. He continued providing food and rations to these Jews for nearly one and a half years. Eventually, the war got over. Allied forces won over Lvov and the Nazi tyranny came to an end. And the Jews that Shocha had hidden in the sewers could eventually see daylight and breathe fresh air. One of the survivors was Christina Chiger, who was around four years old when she went into the sewers with her family. She survived the war and brought out Socha's contribution out to the real world. Leopold Socha and his wife were honored with Righteous Amongst the Nations by Israel a recognition given only to non-Jews who risked their lives to save Jews during the Holocaust. Do you know more of such survival stories? Do let us know in the comments below and thank you for watching.